Hey everyone, this is Michael from Kinetic Entertainment Media. Uh, the date is 7 29 2020. Uh, and Steam still works, guys, you know. So let me prove that concept here. Uh, Steam on Windows XP is still very much alive. Now, this is a uh, archived version, <clears throat> it's called the November 26th build. I will put a link in the comments to the archive.org location. Uh, for this, and so this build, as I understand, is configured to not update versus like if you had like the original Steam executable that you just got from steampower.com, um, it would have eventually updated past this. Uh, you do see this Windows XP timer, right? Like uh, I think it was January 19th, or it was a long time ago that they uh, that they ex stopped official. Steam support and this and this counter is past that, and it might even be, yeah, it's it's past that further because my system clock, my CMOS battery is dead on this box, so I need to uh, adjust that. But um, <clears throat> that'd change whatever is in this timer. The fact of the matter is, Steam still works, right? Um, so let me, you know, launch a game. Some games, like some older Lucas Arts games, it uses DOSBox. Uh, which can be kind of a pain in the butt, like especially if you were looking to use Glide API, like if you're using NGlide or a actual 3DFX card and you wanted to do Glide, um, you could, you know, that could kind of uh, mess you up because it's not going to work. But you can like install the standalone version of Dark Forces and still do that. But I mean, if you just want something simple that's going to work for um, Something simple that you just want to play your Steam games and like you want to get Counter Strike uh, or or Counter Strike Source, um, you know stuff that you've had forever. Uh, Steam still works, uh, you know. Let me uh, show you an example of like something that actually has like internet servers. So if you want to use Counter Strike Source, install via Steam via this build. Um, you can go to Find Servers, and you know there's servers are still there. You can still connect, you know. So, I mean, there's, there's, I, I see a lot of, I've seen videos where people say that, that Steam doesn't work anymore. I've seen comments online that says, uh, nope, doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work. And I'm sure that's, that's correct for the original client or the, the original from, you know, from Steam support client. But this client, the November 26 build, um, still works and still allows you to play any of the games, not any of the games in your Steam library. Obviously, anything like past DirectX 9 isn't going to work, right? The only thing I've ever seen past DirectX 9 work on Windows XP is like a Halo 2. Um, and that's because there's a <coughs> special method to install it <coughs> and get it to work. But, um, you know, you can play, uh, you know, old games in your Steam library as long as they were made before a certain date and, you know, and they don't have any requirements above like DirectX 9, um, you know, you can queue something up and tell it to install and Steam will start to install it. So I I mean, always be precarious of when, when somebody definitively says that it doesn't work and, you know, I mean, there's tons of ways to get things to work, but I mean, Steam for all intents and purposes in 2020 still works. So install it, check it out, play some games, have some fun. Thanks.